Today we're doing a short video going through a section of the Painless Performance Products wiring harness. This is a universal 21 circuit Mopar chassis harness and as you can see I am knee deep in all of this wiring stuff whether it's in the front or it's in the back I am everywhere and I'm making this a little bit more complicated than it needs to be because this system is designed to be up in the front over by the steering wheel and I'm actually in the process of relocating everything right here to the back of the car doing so requires extending a ton of wires it requires shortening a ton of wires and basically I just end up reinventing the wheel several times over by the time I'm done with this thing but it'll look the way I want it to look and that's what's most important to me so the topic at hand today is wiring up the fuel pump your painless harness might have a dedicated circuit or two for either a fuel pump or an accessory circuit and I'll go ahead and show you guys how to wire that up today. In the back of the manual it actually gives you a general idea of what you're going to be doing and it's only a couple of wires. I believe maybe four or five wires in total. So this is all pretty basic stuff. You're basically going to have three wires to deal with at the fuse box and two wires to deal with at the fuel pump. From the fuse box you're going to have three wires. A yellow and black wire, a yellow wire, and a black wire. The yellow wire is the wire that goes to your component, or in this case, is going to go to your fuel pumps. The second one is a black ground wire, and this can be wired one of two ways. The first way is if you wire this to a switch, you can turn your component on and off using the ground side of your circuit. This could be useful for reverse lights, brake lights, things like that, but not necessarily something that you would power with an ignition switch. This is specifically designed for something that you're going to power on the ground side. And the second way you can wire up that wire is running it directly to ground, which is what I've done. What this wire does is it actually gives the ground signal for the relay. I have a video going over exactly how a relay works, but if you guys need a refresher, this would be pin 86 or the ground side of the trigger circuit of the relay. The last wire is a yellow and black wire. This one's going to be relay activation. So this is what's going to actually turn on or off the relay. So if we use the same chart that we used here, this says yeah, you're gonna connect this to the ignition power. So basically if you wire up these three wires, your fuel pump's gonna work, right? And the answer is no, there's a few things that you gotta take care of before we actually get the fuel pump to work. The first of which is going to be the main battery power for the fuse block. You can barely see it clearly on camera, but it's wire 916 and it says two battery source. So this is basically going to power most of that fuse box. And without this, you're not going to have power to anything else. So let's go ahead and connect this one to battery positive. The next wire we're talking about is the ground wire, but not necessarily the ground wire that we just talked about for the relay. This is the ground wire for the fuel pump itself. So it doesn't matter if you have a fuel pump mounted on the rail or in the tank. Chances are it's going to have two wires. One of those wires is going to be ground. One of those wires is going to be power. We've already talked about the yellow wire that goes directly to power. Now we have a negative wire that goes to the ground side of the fuel pump. I've got my wires coming out from this grommet right here. The yellow one's going to be fuel pump power and this black one's going to be ground. This blue one is for a fuel sender, but that's for a different video. So if we follow up that ground, typically you'd want to put that somewhere on a chassis ground, somewhere that'll stay clean and dry and somewhere that stays secure. Since I have more than enough wire, I'm going to go ahead and run it all the way through the harness and back to the battery that we're going to have here. Since the wiring of my fuse block is traveling in the same direction as my fuel pump, I went ahead and I tied together the fuel pump ground as well as the relay ground into a single ground wire. The only reason I'm doing that is because I just want to eliminate the total amount of wires that I'm going to have. And for something as simple as the ground circuit, this is just a quick solution. So we're going to take those two wires and route them to a single wire and now we're going to run this one directly to ground. Now that we've got the two wires for the fuel pump squared away, it's time to go back to the three original wires that we spoke about earlier. So the first one's going to be that yellow relay wire, which we already have wired up, so no problem there. Second one's going to be the ground wire that we talked about, so no problems there. We already took care of that one. And the last one is going to be the relay activation wire, which is this one right here, or more accurately, it's actually this yellow and black one that's right here. Like I mentioned earlier, this fuse box was designed to be sitting over by the column. And because this wire was designed to go to the ignition switch, it's a little shorter than it needs to be. So what I did, I went ahead and extended it. I used a slightly thinner gauge of wire because this is just going to be the trigger wire for the relay. So I'm not going to be drawing a lot of amps through this wire. The other end of the wire is right here. So if you have your big red battery power, your fuel pump positive hooked up, your fuel pump negative, the negative of the relay. The only wire you're going to have left is this yellow and black, or in my case, this yellow wire. Energizing this wire will automatically turn on the relay. So let's find out if this works.
And as you can see, everything is working properly as it should. I've still got a lot to do, so I'm just gonna keep on trucking. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments down below. I will see you guys all in the next one. Night Wrencher, signing out.